All right, so here's the deal. Uh, real quickly, I'm going to show you how you can uh, make some what appears to be bended flower petals in Fusion. I get asked this question quite often about how you can uh, bend items, so to speak, or made more, make them look more curvature. And in Fusion, it's really not easy because this is more of a CAD program than a 3D sculpting program, but you still can, and it's going to take just a moment to do that. So if you look at the one that I have here, you'll notice it looks kind of like a flower and uh, it's got the petals that come up here and then they curve down and you know this is for a project so later on you could do something that looks a little bit like this and then you'll be able to add in all your other components so you can make something a little bit more artistic in fusion so let's go ahead and get started with this right now the very first thing we're gonna do we're gonna start with our front view we're gonna make a simple circle for the base and Today I'm just going to do a 20 millimeter, and then I'm going to put another one in the inside because I would normally put my stem there. I like to keep outer walls of uh, two millimeters, so this would the inside circle would be 16 millimeters. I'm going to do a quick extrude. I'm going to do an extrude of 15 millimeters. And like I said, this is just going to be a really fast tutorial on this because this is not what we're concerned with. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to make a, a shape of a leaf. And we're going to come over to the left side and we're going to go to spline. And I'm actually going to hit control point spline. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I can actually manipulate it a little easier. So what you want to do is you want to think about looking at this from a top-down perspective. If you were looking at a plant or a flower from the top-down perspective, what would that petal look like from the top? So we're going to make a, a quick little petal here using our spline. So this is about how it might look as if I were looking down at it. And there we go, we got a little spline. So that would be the top-down perspective. Now, we're going to extrude this real quick. And the reason we want to extrude this, and we're going to do a, uh, let's do a 20 millimeter. Actually, you know what, let's do a 25 millimeter, because I want to get a nice arc on this. So we're, I'm going to extrude this by 25, and if you look at it, it's, you're like, what? what is that? What is that? That's just a block. Yeah, that is just a block. The, the important thing is right now we have the top shape. Now that I've got this block created, I'm going to come up here to sketch, and I'm going to hit spline. And I want to hit a control spline. And I'm going to start on this plane right here. And I'm just going to make a nice curvature that would look like the actual flower petal kind of drooping go all the way out and there we go stop my sketch next I'm gonna come up to modify and we're gonna cut this in half by going to split body and we're going to select the the body in this case it's this whole uh, block that looked like the leaf from the top view click that go to the right side hit splitting tool select the tool you want to use to split with which in this case it's that spline click OK and now you'll see I can move this piece like this and what I actually want to do is on my left side if you go under bodies you'll now notice there are two bodies created that out of that one shape so body 3 is the one I want to go away I want to get rid of body 3 so I'm going to right click on that and say hey get rid of it and remove it don't delete it if you delete it it, uh, it removes the original piece as well uh, because it's still connected to that you have to hit remove alright we're gonna repeat that process one more time we're gonna come back up to sketch and we're gonna go back under spline control spline and we're gonna start once again on that same work plane and this time we're gonna make the bottom of the leaf from the side point and since this is supposed to be more artistic we're not worried about getting everything down to the 
absolute tenth of a millimeter here. Go ahead and click to return. Stop my sketch. Repeat that process of modifying. We're going to split the body. Select the body. Now select your tool. It's always important to have the tool kind of go a little off of the object because if you don't, it doesn't really understand what you're going to be splitting. So yet the the split has to be the tool has to go across the entire object. So I'm going to now I'm going to select that spline that I created. Hit OK. You'll now notice there's a uh, another body created. In this case, it's body two. I want to remove that. And so now, you'll notice I have kind of a round looking or a curvature looking pedal. So that's how you'll make the pedal. Last step for this process, well last two steps, we are going to simply move this over. We're going to connect it to our base. I'm going to do mine a little bit higher because I actually want my pedal to come up what my pedal to come up mainly from the top all right so now we're at the top view of this flower and as you can see it looks pretty pitiful we've only got one pedal so we need to replicate that to go entirely around this base so we're gonna come up to create we're gonna go to pattern and we're gonna hit circular pattern then uh, pattern type we definitely want to make sure we hit bodies then we're going to select the object that we want to make a uh, that we want to pattern, which in this case is going to be this flower because it right now only has one and it looks like it's starting to die. So we're going to select that the object. Now our axis will be this base, the outside, because that's where all they're going to go. Select that, and you'll now notice you can start to see them pop up. There's a box here for quantity. It's also located on the right side. Uh, I'm going to type in maybe 11, and you'll see now all of a sudden, if I come to this view, look how many more petals I've got. That looks a lot more like a flower. Go ahead and click OK, and there you go. You have a nice looking kind of flower-ish uh, object. Uh, you could probably make your base shorter, make it thinner, however you like. Do a quick fillet if you want, uh, so it gets kind of that more of a rounded look. But there you go. That is how you will make a kind of a flower or a more artistic approach to something in fusion. Thanks for watching.